Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, wherever you're joining me from. I'm Emily Wisensale, a product manager for the Niagara Framework, and I'm thrilled to be the first feature spotlight of Niagara 415 and to share with you the amazing power when you combine the HTML5 experience of Niagara with the Niagara remote service from Niagara Cloud Suite. Let's get started. The, today, I'm gonna go through our Niagara offering that is currently available to you today. Make sure everybody's familiar with what's out right now. Also go through the Niagara Cloud offering with a little dive into Niagara Remote to give a few highlights there. And then we'll switch to focusing on the 415 feature UX builder with a few demos to be able to demonstrate how you can use it and some of the great time savings it offers. And last but not least, always wanna review where you can find more information about Niagara. As you are probably very aware because we continue to evolve on these same five pillars in the Pentagon of progress, we continue to work towards interoperability, connectivity, cyber defense and security as secure by default is our mantra, deployment and certification and compliance to continue to evolve as the industry evolves with the Niagara framework. So Niagara today, Niagara 410 is currently our L so LTS, our long-term supported version, which is a great one for enterprise clients that need to be on a stable and supported version for many years, while we are coming out with new feature releases every nine to 12 months. One thing I wanna call out about Niagara 410 is the latest update was at the end of last year at 410U10, and here in the near future with the release of Niagara 415, the next long-term supported release, this one is going out of support. So the biggest call out here is if you have customers or you have been stabilizing and continuing on Niagara 410, it's time to start getting into your plans of migrating up to the next long-term supported release, which is 415. Niagara 414 is the current supported feature release. There's a lot of great things that came out last year with Niagara 414, including a lot of HTML5 views, which I'll touch on a little bit because that really comes into the power with Niagara Remote to be able to configure your station through the web. There's also a couple other great things throughout here, many great things, uh, like the certificate signing service, which we have another webinar you can talk, look back in the Tritium Talks to see. And our BACnet um, driver is getting certified as we speak on revision 16. And so that will be coming out with or targeting for 14U2 for the official certification once it completes that. And looking into the future with 414, we've got 414U1 staged to come out here at the end of next month. And it's going to continue until Niagara 5 is released, which is targeting in 2026. One thing I like to call out about Niagara 414 is that this is the last version that will support the Wi-Fi or the JACE 8000. But have no fear, coming with 415, the 9000, which is more powerful and Niagara 5 ready, is having Wi-Fi support. So. Just like with 410, you wanna start thinking about that upgrade possibility and working with your customers or getting ready to move if Wi-Fi is critical for you on the 8,000. So just a reminder, the 415 will have the 9,000 support. So start making the plans to move, move forward with us. Niagara Cloud. We have quite a lot of offering out from Niagara Cloud today. And it's going to continue to evolve and grow as the industry embraces and grows with the cloud services. One is the Niagara data service. So AI is the favorite word of, the, of everybody right now. And AI-powered analytics are very robust. However, they need to be fed with very reliable and 
lot of data. And where you can get that data is from Niagara. And the best, most secure way to get it out is through Niagara Data Service. So you can get that data and fill it into, pump it into those AI-powered analytics applications and be able to continue to make the best business decisions based on real data. I, I don't know about you, but sometimes I can't remember where I've left my backup. Where did I save it? Sometimes companies, they do have a good policy of where you should keep the backup. But do you really know where it is? And is it always there with shifting in people? It's, it's a tough one. But have no fear. Niagara recovers here, which is another cloud service where you have a central repository with all of those backups that can come easy place to find, whether it be a new person that's newly hired onto the team or anybody who's been there for a couple of years, you all know the one-stop shop of where to look. And the one we're going to focus on today is Niagara Remote. Um, I personally like to work from home. Uh, also, I don't always have the ability to travel or time doesn't let us. Well, with Niagara Remote, you can connect to that um, remote huh, device without needing a VPN or additional gateways. And as all of our offerings are, this is a very secure, secure by default is our mantra offering where you can um, be able to configure that station not off-site or configure that station off-site. And like I just hinted at, the Niagara Remote Service will allow you to log into a Niagara Supervisor or Jace remotely and use that amazing HTML5 features to be able to configure your station. You don't need to purchase any new hardware gateways. You don't need to work with the IT teams to be able to extend a VPN access to you. You get to use the wonderful Niagara services. And you get to use the Niagara Cloud Management Portal, which is that one-stop shop where you can access all of the data and the backups and remotely connect to your registered devices. Niagara tomorrow. And I think we all know what this is. This is 415, which is why I believe you're here to, listen, to join me today. So let's go through the features and then I will dive into the HTML5 PX editor, which is your PX editor from Workbench features and functionality in the browser. And I cannot wait to show you about that. We have the HTML5 relation manager, allowing you to see the links relations that are going to be connecting all of the points in your, in your system. As I mentioned already, the JS9000 is getting Wi-Fi. So again, prepare to migrate anybody with the 8,000 Wi-Fi in their integration up to the 9,000 so they get the power of that device as well as they are Niagara 5 ready. We have all, we're always upgrading our drivers to make sure they are as robust as possible with enhancements to Modbus, OPC UA, SNMP, and BACnet to name some. For connectivity, um, Port 4911 is sometimes not the easiest to get open on with working with the IT teams. Fox over WebSockets allow for, allows for Niagara Fox traffic over port 443. And so this also will be a good fallback if for some reason those firewall rules are, or port rules are changed and it can fall back into that 443 port, allowing you to have continuous communication of your system. Um, keeping up with the watch, or as we've been watching the ASHRAE standard 231 and it's in public review, we want to be prepared for when that is ready. And we have identified six or seven kit control objects that we will need for when that's ready. And they've been added in 415. For cyber defense, we have another a new authentication type, which is the common access card. And this will allow those common access card users to use that through the browser for station. Um, connections. Also, the user login history and encrypted hash passwords are continuing to keep our security at the highest, most secure by default way. As I've said a couple of times, that is our mantra. And with compliance, we are still moving forward with BACnet and this with 415, we will be going into testing with revision 18. Okay. The HTML5 PX editor. This is 
exactly what it sounds like. It is the PX editor in the browser. So allowing you to create and maintain those custom PX views without needing Workbench. And with, look at all of those views in 414. Like I said, there was a bunch. With the all of the 414 views, plus the web wire sheet, which has been out for a good bit, and now UX Builder, you have the capability of configuring your station with Niagara Remote from your office or wherever that may be. So that's going to help with the deployment ease, being able to help you get that visualization right, and the interoperability. And this is my favorite. I personally probably wouldn't be working it on the beach, but that's okay. If that's your choice, you can, because with this, as long as you have that good web connection, you can configure your graphics through remote anywhere. Okay, let's, let's see it. Let's take a look. So here I am, I'm in the browser. Hopefully you noticed that. And you can see here's the graphic that I've already built up. Um, here's an alarm portal, yay. Um, and what you also see is the edit icon. So now, just like that, I'm seeing all of the features that I am already used to from the PX editor in the browser. This is great. So, well, let's see what I can do. I can drag something out, create a widget. I'm able to, this is the make widget wizard that you've been using. You can select from the existing options that you're used to, and I'm gonna pick the relation manager. Here we go. We've got drag and drop. We've got the snap grid. You can extend everything and all of the merry ways of making those graphics that you're used to. Uh, one second, let me get this right. Um, one of my favorites is the control multi-select and align because I really like my widgets to be lining up very perfectly. Um, you can reorder, push to back. I can double click, and get the properties, just like I've been working with at Workbench all since, oh gosh, AX. Okay, let's save this. Wow, that widget looks pretty neat. That's new. Yes, it is. This is our HTML5 relation manager. Let's take a look at the full view. Here we go. Okay, so what you're seeing is we have a model of the components and the relations that are on those components, the tags, both implied and direct, the links. As you can see, I'm a bit of a tag delinquent. And not only that, but you can navigate through the model middle. So this is a pretty cool feature. Can't wait for you to get your hands on it and give it a try. Also, as very important, you can make a new view. Um, always need to be able to start a new one when needed. So it's pretty exciting. However, how often have you gotten that call? I need to fix this, this graphic isn't right. You get in the car, you have to drive, you go to the site, you fix it, then you have to drive back. That's a lot of driving. It could be hours of each day. What if you got the call, you walk to your computer, you do the work, and then you have time for a nice cup of coffee? Because save you can save time with Niagara Remote by not needing to get in the car to do these station configurations. I'm gonna show you that too now. Okay. So here I am in Niagara Community, which is how you access the cloud management portal. As we're very secure, and this has a double authentication to make sure that you are who you are. Um, I am wonderful. And now I can see the projects that I have access to. So Niagara Smart Buildings has a lot of projects, but I only get access to what our admins give it me to. Same with the devices. This is what I'm allowed to see, including this JACE that I, I'm gonna work on today. You've got your data service, you've got your cover and remote all in one spot. And just like that, here I am logging into my station that is on site. That easy. It's amazing. That's way better than a car drive. So for this fun story, uh, I was called and told that the floor graphic is not correct. Let's take a look. So floor three, let's see, floor three, oof. floor one, they said, that, oh, those are the same. I need to fix that. 
So I did add the graphic first. Let me get this out of the way. Um, so I hope you're watching. I'm going to upload the floor plan from my office or home to my remote station and be able to use that in the graphic. So I, I found that very fun and exciting. I'm going to go in and edit because that's not right. Let's see. Where is this widget? Um, I'm going to click on it here in a second. Let's click on it. Oh, whoops. I forgot. That's a PX includes. Haha, <laughs> I didn't forget. But I wanted to show you that PX includes are in UX Builder. And so now I'll go to that, that actual graphic and swap out the image. Here we go. I'm just having a great time today. And we can change this to the newly uploaded picture of floor three. Awesome. Of course, all of these are not lining up correctly and I would fix that. But, you know, let's keep looking at some new features features and save this. Um, I think our alarms got lost. So, oh, yep, that console's gone. So let's see how that works. You go into edit. Let's go find my alarm console. Yeah, alarms, alarms here, VMFA, yep, drag it on over. And we'll hit up, up, make sure it's the right view. I want to go ahead and get the alarm console and we'll hit okay and drag it on out. Oops, I can hear him beeping on my side. I don't know if you can, there we go. And that was very fast, still in my office or home desk and it is working. Um. Let's see, one more thing I can show you. Let's come in, let's get started on a graphic. I haven't made any equipment graphics yet. So I'll go into this air handler and let's make a new view. Okay, air handler, do, do, do. I know this is very fun to watch, but I'm always very excited about it. And we're gonna come on in. I'm oh, gonna need to get some duct work first. So drag it out, do, 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 do. Uh, let's go horizontal. Oh, uh-oh, let's try, I think oh, I'm moving too fast. Give it a second. Uh, I'm gonna, oops, what's happening? Uh, I'm gonna just delete this one and try again. Okay, sometimes I do that, it happens. Let's drag it on out again. We'll bring it on over. And then next, let's add a, why not a, let's do what looks good, that one. This one looks like it'll fit on top of it. So just like you're used to, you can drag and drop, connect to the graphics. Uh, for my final trick, let's go ahead and bind a point to a graphic. Bring on a fan, here we go. Once again, what you're used to, I'm gonna go pick it from the palette. Let's find the fan I want. Here we go, do, do, do. and horizontal. If I wanna see what it looks like, as you would expect, you can preview and then insert it. There we go. And so just like you've been using in Niagara for a long time, you can build your graphics through the web. So remember, I got the call, I walked to my desk, I fixed the problem, and now I can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner because I have so much time saved with Niagara Remote. And now I know everybody here is very excited about this. So you can try it too with a 90 day cloud trial. So I will leave this right here for a second and let you take the scan of that QR code or you can always go to our website. Speaking of the website, please always check the Resource Center for the latest and greatest on Niagara. It's there filled with tons of wonderful documentation for your reading pleasure. And that is what I have to share with you today. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. Now let me see, do we, oh, we don't have any questions. If there are any, please go ahead and type them in or have a wonderful day. And thank you very much.